Phantom Six, um, London Raiders won, uh, got uh, two of the players of the game. In fact, the two players that we voted as uh, men of the match uh, on the commentary team tonight was uh, Will Weldon and Joe Hazeldean. Uh, Will, uh, it's always a hard game against the Raiders. Uh, we pretty much know what we're going to get, but that felt like a bit of a battle from, from the first minute, really. Yeah, every game in this league obviously can be tough on any given night and I think we're happy with 6-1 but it probably wasn't a 6-1 game in those areas that, that we probably weren't with it you know, 100% tonight so it's been a bit bit weird playing three weeks of one one game in the weekend so hopefully get back into the rhythm of two, two games in each weekend and we can push on. And just from your own point of view it looked like it was going to be one of those games, it was the first minute wasn't it when you had a, a little bit of push and a shove? Yeah, I think sometimes you just get a bit overly excited at the start of a game and it, it was just there was a bit of a melee in front of the net and you know we we both looked at each other and think knew what was going to happen so um, it's one of those things. Well, I think I think teams are going to come up and they, 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 they we've got the backup net minder in and I think one of their guys had pushed the uh, the net over onto Ryan and, uh, and and early in the game that's a statement you got to you got to answer that call. Yeah, exactly. It's I think he he could have avoided doing it it was intentional and like you say it is just answering you know the statement that that they've made there and the, the rest of the game there wasn't too much until the third period obviously Gretz had a, a good toe to toe um, I think the fans like to see it and um, you know it's fun when when you can get involved with it. Joe welcome aboard uh, it looks like you've settled in. Yeah um, the guys have been really good to me and uh, it's just sliding in straight straight away so yeah it's been good and uh, the tonight's game i thought the the first period uh, it was it was it was a tough first period they they pushed us hard it was a one goal first period uh, we then pulled away yeah we knew it wasn't going to be a game for the faint hearted and um, you know whoever they storm pretty well um, that's all you can do really and uh, well the, the forwards i mean you, you'd be pleased that your own goal was good nice little finish top yeah. shelf yeah it was uh, similar to the one in the playoffs last year just Nice pass across and uh, yeah, just a one knee one time and just make it look better than it probably was. So there's lots of big games in the in the run up. I think uh, other than the cup final first leg and the playoffs, there's just five home league games to go now. So we're getting to that business end and we're on a, a really good run. Joe, I mean you've you've contributed to that. What what is it now? It's eight nine games on a row. Yeah, um, that's what we just got to keep the street rolling and you know we're doing our best. We can only play as good as what we we prepare ourselves too so yeah big games coming up we'll be ready for them it's been difficult slotting in joe uh, you know obviously uh, you you've, you've been with the panthers you won't know too many of the lads in this league necessarily i don't think um it was it was hard coming on this ice um but you know getting used to it now and it's fine um but yeah playing d was obviously a bit of a change but i've done that uh before so uh, i just go from forward to d so yeah it's fine well, next week, uh, at the home game at least, is a real big one. It's Swindon at home and uh, that, that, that's a particular challenge. Uh, I don't know how they're going to get on tonight. They were losing when I came down to do the interview, but you know we won't know that. But uh, there's a chance of ch uh, chasing them down, isn't there, for second place? Yeah, I don't think we're focused too much on you know, league positions or, or trying to win a game for that, that reason. It is, like you said, the business end of the season now and I think we can just forget about about things like that and just worry about it game by game and if that means that that we can leapfrog them in second and you know Telford lost last night who knows you know how how their form continues it's we, we want to do what we can to just keep winning and then see where we are come come the end of the uh, regular season yeah, and just to bring things full circle as I said uh, I, I got you as man of the match Will and, and Stevie got Joe uh, it was the beers went to Ryan for the second week running I think or second in three weeks uh, it's been good to have him as a backup coming and play so well. Definitely, he obviously he played in, in Bracknell earlier in the season, and and for 50 minutes he, he stood on his head and made some you know really really big saves, and then pulled his groin um, and missed probably a couple of months there. So Marzi had to carry the load for a, for a while, and then obviously as Ryan's come back fully fit, he's he's shown what a capable goalie he is, and the the boys don't mind who's in the net. To be honest, it's obviously good good to have two goalies that you can rely on night in and night out and it's just pleasing to see him do so well. Joe, last one for you, uh, as it's your first one with us, you said uh, it's, it's a change for you to play D, so what do you prefer, D or forward? Oh, I'm a D-man, for sure, but I like to chip in on the offensive side. Okay, good man, right, thanks for joining us, both, uh, both of you, we'll see you next week.